we are gonna go meet Ryan, our new construction manager at this project. This is a pond that was, it, it was just old and it needed to be revamped. In our transition, we had our skeleton crew doing some things that it just didn't turn out very good. I'm super quality product guy and so we went back and redid everything and a couple minor issues that that we need to address one of them is a leak may or may not be a minor issue I'm hoping it's a minor issue it usually is most leaks occur as a low edge in the waterfall stream area yeah leaks are a funny thing so logic would dictate if you had a leak sometimes it would happen in the pond itself like a hole in the liner sometimes it would be in the plumbing and sometimes it'd be in the waterfall but over time what I've recognized is that 90% of the leaks are in the waterfall and it's just due to a low edge so that's good news because that means that most leaks are, are a simple fix. And then with inexperienced guys, sometimes you have a low edge in the pond itself. Occasionally, get a hole in the liner. Usually, that's during the, the building phase and it's recognized. Now, we took a bunch of gravel out, a new gravel in. Could have been that someone accidentally poked a hole in the liner. It's fine if we know where it is, because if we don't, it can be real pain in the butt trying to find it. We always do find it and we patch it. Once the patch is on, it's good to go. It's stronger than normal. So anyway, we need to find where the leak is. I'm super good at that. So I just want to go down there. Our construction manager, Ryan, is phenomenal. We're really, really lucky to get him. He doesn't yet have the pond experience, but he's got management experience doing multi, multi-million dollar developments. And he was in a point where he had a little more freedom to do something that he wanted to do. And he's, he's got just a passion about this. And I'm really excited to have him on board. Just a likable guy. I think we get along well have a similar vision on excellence and on growth so uh, I'm happy to have him and then Dan he just wants to work and really smart guy came from Wisconsin uh, we're just lucky to have him so we put a lot of effort into getting rid of the people that weren't serving us or our customers most importantly and bringing on good people so far so good and we have a new office manager whom is doing really well so I'm excited because it's not cool when we're not serving our customers right. I feel like I've got the team to turn that all around now, and um, yeah. You know how we determine where it is and that it's a bit of a process to, to find that leak. Okay. If it doesn't drop at all, it's obviously in the falls or somewhere above that line. If it starts to fall, we know that there's a perforation or a puncture or wherever it stops falling. One thing that's really understated on a lot of ponds is the skimmer. And I'll see brand new ponds sometimes and they don't put a skimmer on and that is a huge part of the filtration. So uh, what the skimmer does is it's essentially pulling the top layer of water. And the cool thing about water is it's got these water molecules. and there's a slightly positive charge and a slightly negative charge. So you've got this magnetic fabric of water that uh, it's just all stuck together. If you ever fill your glass too high and it goes above the rim and you're like, how in the heck? That's surface tension. So um, we want to get the very top layer of water skimming in because that's where dust and leaves and all kinds of stuff are gonna be. Like if I took this flap off, we wouldn't be skimming the top layer of water. We could turn the pump on and you could see dust and stuff just floating and you might see debris getting pulled in underneath the top layer, but we're not getting that top layer. 
So um, eventually that stuff settles out and goes to the bottom. We want to get as much stuff as possible. So by having a skimmer and pulling that top layer of water, then we're getting the vast majority of organics pulling into the system instead of it settling out on the bottom. Uh, you're also getting the most oxygenated water as well. And we want that oxygenated water for the whole biological system. It's really important for nitrification, all this other geeky stuff. It's really important for the ecosystem to get that highly oxygenated water. Um, and so you're getting water with high oxygen levels, organic debris getting pulled in. And the reason we're able to pull that top layer is because of this flap. So coming in and it's just pulling over the top edge of this right here. So um, it's really important to have a weird flap and have a real skimmer or else it's not going to work. And so on this particular skimmer, this is an Aquascape skimmer. We specifically use Aquascape materials. We shut the pump off, boom. You can close that lid because when you shut the pump off, if there's debris in here, it'll want to uh, go back out into the pond itself. And then you just take your basket, pull it out. Or if it's a small amount of stuff, you, uh, you just grab it and empty it like that. So um, there's also a filter pad and that's gonna grab the big particulates. Smaller stuff will get caught up into the biological filter where we've got a lot of biofilm and, and we're able to get smaller particulates filtered out up there as well. So uh, skimmer is a super, super important part of any pond as far as keeping things lower maintenance. If, if you do look this way, this gap is even like bigger. Way Oh, holy moly. Look at that. That's a quarter of an inch. Yeah. In front of it. Yeah. It, right. it shouldn't be squished back like that. I and see. There should be top soil because we want we want to have compacted material around the skimmer uh, to hold it in place. Right. Um, and, and this is a real skimmer. This is a legitimate yeah. skimmer. And then what, what can happen? This is a spot that could be a, a low edge doesn't look like it is I don't think this is over here either because I can still see the liner yeah but sometimes it's really easy to get a, yeah. a fold right you know like you think it's up and yeah. then there's some fold that you can't even see that goes below water level and it can be that uh, you know that this faceplate can get put on well Thank you.